What's up guys, Tyler Kirkwood here. Today is day 80 of semen retention or sexual transmutation. So I wanted to do an update video and let you guys know how things are going for me and what's new and what I've learned and what I've noticed um, along this journey. So basically, um, yeah, things are going pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm feeling a little bit better each day it's small incremental changes, but it's definitely very noticeable, especially when you look back over like the whole long haul of the 80 days. So I'm super happy and super excited um, that things are going this well. So my goal is to go 365 days. Um, I've gone 80. I haven't had any wet dreams. I've been very lucky, very fortunate as far as that goes. Um, Basically, some of the stuff that I've noticed lately is I'm definitely a lot less um, anxious as a person. And I notice this most when I go to the gym because there's obviously a lot of really attractive females at the gym. And I've noticed that, like, I don't get anxious being around them and I just feel incredibly comfortable around them. And it's like, it's kind of a nice feeling because... In the past, I would get maybe nervous or feel uncomfortable or whatever, but now I really have very little social anxiety, and I've actually been able to approach people, um, females, and start conversations, which is kind of a nice feeling. So I'm definitely growing as a person. My social anxiety is decreasing significantly, and that's really important to me. It's a really big change, and I would I would strongly suggest. Um, it's worth trying semen retention just to deal with social anxiety because social anxiety is very crippling and detrimental to the enjoyment of day-to-day -day life. So another thing I've noticed is I see Tesla vehicles on the roads occasionally and I see their stock, you know, obviously on the internet or whatever, and there's always news about Tesla. And I had the realization that like every time that I see Tesla, I pretty much... I'm starting to think of uh, semen retention because Tesla practiced semen retention and sexual transmutation and he directed his energies basically instead of being used for sex and, sex and pleasure um, to be utilized in innovations for electricity, etc. So <clears throat> it's kind of an interesting phenomenon what's happening. It's like every time I see Tesla out in the world, Tesla automobiles or Tesla stock or news on Tesla, I'm starting to think about semen retention. So I'm realizing like it has a massive impact on my day-to-day -day life. Like a lot of the luxuries and convenience and innovation that I enjoy are directly a result of another human being practicing semen retention. So it's kind of a cool feeling because you have the realization that, you know, if I practice semen retention, maybe I can transmute my sexual energy and improve life not only for myself, but for other people in mankind and other people that might be not even born yet, that might that might be um, born in the future. So it's kind of a cool um, realization to have. So another thing that's kind of been striking me um, by surprise a little bit or off guard a little bit is like hair growth. And what I've noticed is that the hair on my head is getting extremely thick and full and it's coming in so thick that it's it's almost like slightly painful, like a very, very slight pain on on my scalp that I notice pretty much all day, every day since I like maybe since after about 60 to 70 days, probably after about two months, I started noticing that my hair was changing significantly as far as the on my scalp. So. That's something that's really cool. I didn't expect that. Um, it's kind of frustrating dealing with the slight pain, but overall, I think it'll. I think it'll go away eventually. It is. It is a good feeling to have because I. I kind of get worried about having male pattern baldness, and I feel like if I continue to practice uh, semen retention, then I pretty much won't have to worry about that for a long period of time. So. Just to recap the three main things that I've noticed, um, definitely way less social anxiety around other people, especially females. Um, noticing that semen retention by other human beings is a major 
part of my day-to-day -day life. And then also the significantly thicker hair growth on the top of my head, the scalp. So these three things are pretty much a confirmation that semen retention is working. Um, it's for sure working with, there's no doubt, any doubt in my mind. I guess I should also comment on um, diet and a, a, this has to do with sexual transmutation because basically the theory is, you know, once you stop wasting your life force, and this is from uh, Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich book, which has been talked about countless times on YouTube and plenty of people have talked about it on their channel. So I'm not going to go too much in depth on this, but basically to rehash the ideology in the book is that once you cease losing your life force, you transmute that energy into accomplishing other things. So you're probably wondering, all right, you've gone 80 days without losing your life force. What have you accomplished? Well, these are the following things that I've accomplished. Um, basically, I've changed my diet. That's the first thing. I went vegan, and now I'm basically doing keto vegan. So I'm getting leaner, and I feel healthier. I feel less depressed because I felt a lot of guilt and shame and remorse as far as how the animals are treated in slaughterhouses. I've seen probably all the documentaries on YouTube. There's at least 10 probably hour long documentaries on how animals are treated and I, it just got to me like it just got to me so much where I was just like depressed ashamed suicidal of how things are set up in this world for the animals and so I went vegan and it's not the first time I've gone vegan but hopefully this is the last time that I go vegan and um, so that's something that I've accomplished and I would attribute that to semen retention and Another thing that I've accomplished is quitting smoking cigarettes, and this is something that I did not anticipate happening. Um, I was really, really happy when it did happen because obviously smoking cigarettes is a horrible habit. It's ex it's an expensive habit, um, but I've never heard anybody talk about this, and so I didn't expect I didn't even really expect that it was possible that you know. Basically, the, the semen retention it would make your willpower so so much stronger that it would become really, really easy to just completely quit the cigarettes. So I just quit cold turkey, and I haven't had a cigarette in like a week, and I feel great. I feel awesome. So I would directly attribute that to semen retention, and I feel like that's evidence of sexual transmutation. So stuff that I want to accomplish in the future... Um, Basically, utilizing sexual transmutation is a way to uh, alleviate some financial distress. Um, I have quite a bit of debt, um, student loan debt, etc. So I would like to get back into the stock market. I would like to purchase some stocks. And I would also like to eventually build a YouTube channel where I can generate some revenue. So those are my two um, ideas for basically making money. I'd like to buy some stock and planet fitness because i go there like every day and i feel like it's gonna continue to grow um i'm not really sure how the how the stock market and the economy is gonna is gonna go um in the near term i feel like it's probably gonna go up because trump wants to get reelected. so most likely the stock market will continue to go up for the next couple of years i would assume because trump wants to get reelected, and that would definitely help um, his re-election efforts. So I feel like that's why we're seeing the Federal Reserve Chairman Powell um, basically, you know, be so kind of um, forgiving as far as his monetary policy to try not to disrupt the momentum, the upward momentum of the stock market so Trump can get re-elected. And um, yeah, so I basically, I basically kind of have reversed my position because I did feel like the stock market was going up so much for like 10 years. I felt like a significant correction was due any time. Um, a lot worse than what happened last December, but it, I've kind of reversed that position and just feel like most likely things are going to continue to do well. Um, but yeah, I feel like it'd be a profitable investment to buy Planet Fitness. So that's something I'm going to do going forward. Basically just um, trying to direct all this energy into accumulating accumulated money so it'll be interesting to see how it goes um, i appreciate you guys following along on these videos and uh, please subscribe to the channel if you find this remotely interesting and uh, as far as the next update um, on semen retention i guess i'll probably do one around day 85 um, 
that's my timeline as far as as far as uploading videos um maybe like every five days or something like that seems pretty reasonable of course i might do something before that but um yeah i wouldn't expect to hear from me um as far as the semen retention and sexual transmutation go um till day 85 so so a little under a week anyway thanks for viewing my channel i appreciate it you guys um keep up the good work guys that are that are practicing semen retention and um, having decent streaks i don't really like saying streaks and um there's a lot of people that have different views on this there's some people that there's some people that say you know counting days is pointless but for me it keeps me accountable because if i count the days i i know that i'm not gonna like just all of a sudden forget about how far how far along how far along i've come you know what i'm saying so to me it's something to be proud of and um but I don't really like referring to it as streak because when you say streak, you're kind of admitting that eventually you're going to fail or you're going to fall off. And um, I, I honestly had the realization, I was like, man, what if I just do this forever? Like, what if, I, you know, it's kind of a crazy thought because obviously I'd never have kids. I would never, you know, have sex again or whatever, like stuff like that. I'd just be celibate for the rest of my life. But those thoughts have cr crossed my mind. But uh, right now I'm just sticking to the goal of going a year because to me a year would just be really impressive, um, and uh, I just don't want to be I just don't want to be overzealous and get disappointed. So just taking it day by day, and um, yeah, man, it's definitely it's definitely worth the effort. I cannot um, explain enough that it's worth it's so worth the effort. And uh, I just feel so much healthier and so much better and so much happier. I feel optimistic. I feel hopeful. I feel like I can have goals. I can I can maybe accomplish decent things in my life. And uh, actually, I'm not really trying to accomplish decent things. I'm trying to accomplish like a grand door and just like extremely extravagant things. <laughs> I probably need to, you know, reduce my my. Um, I guess my goal is to be a little bit more realistic, but it's just, it's nice to dream, you know, I have lots of dreams, I would like to, you know, still be a competitive bodybuilder, and I think it'd be awesome to be like the first vegan bodybuilder that wins an Olympia, it's never been done before, and uh, I think that'd be a cool thing, so these are like my ultimate dreams and goals and, and stuff like that, and these are things that you only think about on semen retention, because your mind opens up so much, man, you just have such a you have such a more, um, you, you have such a broader view on life, and it's just, it's just amazing that, like, you have, you just have, you know, more hopes and dreams and stuff that you, than I think you would if you were, if you were not practicing semen retention, so, and, um, I also think it would be nice to become, like, a super, super successful investor in the stock market, as far as, you know, amassing a lot of, a lot of wealth, um, by, by investing in the stock market. So these are things that are obviously going to take time. And I think it'd be cool to, to honestly just get a YouTube channel that gen generates revenue. I mean, even if it's like a small amount of revenue, even, even if it's like a hundred dollars a month, to me, that would be awesome. It's better than nothing. It's worth, it's worth a try at least. So those are pretty much my, uh, my goals, hopes, aspirations, dreams, please uh, leave some comments or feedback if you guys have any thoughts that you'd like to share. And I appreciate the encouragement that I've been receiving already along this journey. Um, I wish you guys the same and good luck out there. And thanks again for viewing. Talk to you later.